After studying this module, you shall be able to identify the roles of iron protein and magnesium ATP hydrolysis, know the structural details of molybdenum nitrogenase and role of molybdenum in it, learn the catalytic role of the two metal clusters present in the molybdenum iron protein, know the mechanism of electron transfer from iron protein to molybdenum iron cofactor during nitrogen reduction. Learn the different type of binding modes of substrates in molybdenum iron cofactor. Introduction The enzyme nitrogenase is found in certain bacteria and blue-green algae which can reduce nitrogen to ammonia which is known as nitrogen fixation. Some of these bacteria are free living while others are symbiotic in the anaerobic environment of roots of legume plants. This bacterial reaction is a key step in the nitrogen cycle which maintains a balance between two reservoirs of the nitrogen compounds. Nitrogen fixing bacteria catalyze dinitrogen reduction in forming two ammonia molecules resulting the major contribution of fixed nitrogen to the biogeochemical nitrogen cycle. Although the reduction of dinitrogen still remains one of the today's biggest challenges in chemistry. As a result, substantial efforts have been applied to understanding the mechanism of bacterial nitrogenases. The transient interaction of two component proteins are involved in the reduction of nitrogen by this enzyme designated the iron protein and the molybdenum iron protein and minimally requires 16 magnesium ATP, 8 protons and electrons. Four types of nitrogenases are known till date, each having a different combination of metals at the active site. But the most abundant nitrogenase type is the molybdenum nitrogenase which has an active site called iron molybdenum cofactor. This cofactor contains molybdenum along with iron, sulphur, R-homocitrate and a light atom of unknown identity called X. The ideal reaction catalyzed by the molybdenum dependent nitrogenase can be represented by the chemical equation. The molybdenum nitrogenase is composed of two component metalloproteins commonly called as the iron protein and the molybdenum iron protein. These structures either individually or in complex form are determined by X-ray crystallography that has provided detailed models of three metal clusters present in nitrogenase. The nitrogen fixation by nitrogenase contain a complex interaction between the two protein components, magnesium ATP electrons and protons. Understanding the molecular details of this multi-step and multi-component system is difficult. Figure represents the structure of M cluster of molybdenum nitrogenase. Iron protein. Iron protein cycle. The iron protein is homodimer with a molecular weight of 64,000 consisting one nucleotide, magnesium ATP or magnesium ADP binding site within each subunit and a single 4 iron 4 sulfur cluster bridging the two subunits. This has been represented in figure. The role of iron protein in nitrogenase is to transport electrons one at a time to the molybdenum iron protein in a process coupled with the hydrolysis of two magnesium ATP molecules. In nitrogenase mechanism, iron protein participation can be considered to operate in three stage cycle known as iron protein cycle. The reduced iron protein in the cycle with its 4 iron 4 sulfur cluster in the plus 1 oxidation state has two magnesium ATP binding sites. It is this state that transiently associates with the molybdenum iron protein. While associating the two magnesium ATP molecules bound to iron protein are hydrolyzed to two magnesium ADP molecules and a single electron is transferred from the iron protein 4 iron 4 sulfur cluster into the molybdenum iron protein. The oxidized iron protein 4Fe4 sulfur 2 positive the, with the two bound Mg ADP molecules further gets dissociated from the iron molybdenum protein. The free iron protein is regenerated then in two steps. Again the reduction of 
4 iron 4 sulfur 2 positive cluster takes place resulting in plus 1 oxidation state and Mg ADP molecules are replaced by Mg ATP molecules. Physiologically, the reduction of iron proteins depends upon the organism with reduced peridoxin or flavidoxin being the most common electron donor. Lots of questions still remain unanswered regarding the mechanistic details of the iron protein cycle. For instance, the nature of interaction between the nucleotide binding sites in the iron protein and iron molybdenum protein interface remain obscure. The reason behind undetectable display rates for magnesium ATP hydrolysis in iron protein prior to association with the molybdenum iron protein, how the hydrolysis of magnesium ATP gets activated once it bound to the molybdenum iron protein. Likewise, very little is known about how magnesium ATP binding and hydrolysis within the iron protein is communicated into iron molybdenum protein. This type of communication is suggested by the observation that iron protein is the only known reductant for the molybdenum iron protein that will support substrate reduction. The capacity of small molecule electron donors to reduce the molybdenum iron protein without an related ability to support substrate reduction demonstrates that iron protein induced changes within the molybdenum iron protein and should be coupled to magnesium ATP hydrolysis. Molybdenum iron protein The molybdenum iron protein is heterotetramer with a molecular weight of 2,50,000 containing two pair of metalloclusters named P cluster with its 8 iron 7 sulfur and iron molybdenum cofactor with 7 iron molybdenum and 9 sulfur homocitrate X. Iron molybdenum cofactor Iron molybdenum cofactor consists of a transition metal sulfur framework and one molecule of R homocitrate. It is a site of substrate binding and reduction. Iron molybdenum cofactor is anchored to the iron molybdenum protein by alpha 275 cysteine to an iron atom at one end and alpha 442 histidine to the molybdenum atom at the other end. There is considerable evidence that the iron molybdenum cofactor is a site of substrate binding and reduction. Role of molybdenum It affects the reactivity of cofactor involved in the nitrogen fixation. The molybdenum atom slows down the protonation of the cluster at the active site that suppresses the production of dihydrogen. It also maximizes the possibility of dinitrogen binding to that active site. Molybdenum iron sulfur cluster protonates slowly than iron sulfur cluster and it has also been shown that molybdenum containing iron sulfur clusters have greater substrate affinity as compared to iron sulfur clusters. It modulates the reduction potential necessary for nitrogen binding and reduction. It participates in electron transfer between the P cluster pair and iron molybdenum cofactor. It plays a structural role by providing a polydentate site that can simultaneously interact with the remainder of the cofactor, the homocitrate and the protein, thereby serving as a structural anchor to maintain all these groups in the proper orientations. Thus, the role of molybdenum as cofactor is justified and it has been used for in vitro nitrogen fixation as well. P cluster these are 8 iron 7 sulfur cluster and are responsible for electron transfer between iron protein and the substrate reduction site iron molybdenum cofactor according to the X-ray crystal structures of two different stable iron protein and molybdenum iron protein complexes. P cluster is placed in between the iron protein cluster and iron molybdenum cofactor. Amino acid substitution placed between the P cluster and the molybdenum iron cofactor within the molybdenum iron protein disturb the intramolecular transfer of electrons from the P cluster to iron molybdenum cofactor. Stopped flow and EPR spectroscopic results obtained under turnover conditions show that during the reduction of bound dinitrogen, the P cluster is oxidized. Iron protein appreciate the magnesium ATP dependent transfer of an electron to the oxidized P cluster of the molybdenum iron protein. As indicated by free squench EPR spectroscopy, 
the P cluster within a molybdenum iron protein having the beta 188 cell residue substituted by cysteine change oxidation state during turnover. The P cluster are made from two linked 4 iron 4 sulfur subclusters having common bridging mu6 sulfide at one corner. This has been represented in figure. Cystinate sulfur ligand is the only known naturally occurring iron sulfur cluster containing serenate O beta 188 serenate and the amide N alpha 88 cysteine ligands. X-ray crystallographic studies of two different oxidation states of molybdenum iron proteins tells us that P cluster undergoes structural rearrangement upon oxidation from the resting state. One consequence of which is the displacement of both the serenate O and amide N ligands from PN. There is very less information about the oxidation states that the P cluster accesses during turnover. According to this information, a practical working model of P cluster function is made. According to which, firstly, one or two electron is transferred from the P cluster to iron molybdenum cofactor upon association of the iron protein with the molybdenum iron protein. That is followed by re-reduction of the oxidized P cluster by electron transfer from the iron protein. During catalysis, the iron molybdenum cofactor should accept 8 electrons whereas only one electron is delivered during each event of iron protein binding. The subscript denotes the number of electrons and protons added to molybdenum iron protein. Thus molybdenum iron protein proceeds through states from E0 to E8 during nitrogen fixation before it returns back to the resting state. The 1 electron iron protein cycle and 8 electron molybdenum iron protein cycle can be conceived of as interlocking with the iron protein cycle, driving the molybdenum iron protein to successively reduced states. This model for the nitrogenase mechanism depicts several important observations regarding the mechanics of the catalysis. For instance, it is known that 3 or 4 electrons must accumulate within the molybdenum iron protein before nitrogen binds, E3 or E4 states. Moreover, a stoichiometric quantity of hydrogen is evolved when nitrogen binds to the molybdenum iron protein. Besides reducing nitrogen and protons, nitrogenase has the ability to reduce a wide variety of small unsaturated molecules such as azides, nitrous oxides, nitriles, isonitriles and alkynes. The reduction of the acetylide C2H2 to ethylene C2H4 is the most commonly used method for monitoring nitrogenase activity. Even though both acetylene and nitrogen have potential to bind to the same site on iron molybdenum cofactor, it is worth mentioning that acetylene binds to a less reduced E state than does nitrogen. Therefore, when these two compounds are present, acetylene appears to be a non-competitive inhibitor of nitrogen reduction. Substrate entry and product release. Although the iron molybdenum cofactor is buried quite below the surface of protein and no permanent channels are there between iron molybdenum cofactor and the protein, but there are two clefts which can be used for the substrate entering and release of the product and or transfer of H3O plus to the active site. Both of these clefts have funnel-like shape and are near to one of the putative iron protein subunit binding sites. However, these two clefts are not wide enough to allow free diffusion of either substrate or product or H3O+. Therefore, it seems reasonable to assume that some conformational changes must be there which provides diffusion of ligands into and away from the iron molybdenum cofactor. Similar to the case of binding and release of oxygen to the buried hemes in globins. The details of the interaction between various substrates and the iron molybdenum cofactor could provide understanding in the catalytic function of nitrogenase. Therefore, it seems necessary to understand different modes of interactions between them. There are many possibilities by which substrate can bind to one or more of the iron molybdenum and or sulfur site of all six trigonally coordinated iron sites of the iron molybdenum cofactor are particularly fascinating for substrate binding. Based on the iron molybdenum cofactor structure, three different types of binding modes of substrates to these coordinatively unsaturated irons may be envisioned. End on end fashion. 
substrates could bind in an end on end fashion to one of the six central iron sites which are bridged by non protein ligands it is also conceivable that some substrates could displace the bridging ligand why if this ligand is not a sulfur and interacts simultaneously with the two adjacent iron sites the central cavity some small substrates such as n2 and or h plus could occupy the central cavity in the iron molybdenum cofactor thereby replacing the weak iron iron bonds with iron substrate bonds last is the exterior surface substrates could bind to the exterior surface of the iron molybdenum cofactor three sets of cyclic eight membered rings occur on the exterior surface of iron molybdenum cofactor consisting of alternating sulfur and iron sites the existence of multiple potential substrate binding sites in the iron molybdenum cofactor could be linked with the non competitive kinetics observed between nitrogen and other substrates the complex structural model for nitrogen fixation is shown in figure summary iron molybdenum cofactor consists of a transition metal sulfur framework and one molecule of r homocitrate and is the site of substrate binding and reduction during catalysis the p cluster first transfers one or two electrons to the iron molybdenum cofactor upon association of the iron protein with the molybdenum iron protein which is quickly followed by the re-reduction of the oxidized p cluster by electron transfer from the iron protein besides reducing nitrogen and protons nitrogenase can also reduce a number of small compounds containing double or triple bonds such as alkyne acetylene to ethylene c2h2 to c2h4 three different types of binding modes of substrates to these coordinatively unsaturated ions may be envisioned end on the central cavity and the exterior surface